you need to have those four things dialed in before you consider spending more than $50 per day on ads. In this video, I'm going to show you how to scale Facebook ads. Even if you have a very small ad account, even if you're just starting out, I'm going to give you my scaling system. I'm going to show you how I think about scaling Facebook ads. Of course, I'm going to show some results on the screen right now so you could believe this video is the holy grail. This video is the solution to all of your Facebook ads problems. And right now, let's start. But before actually going into Facebook ads and spending crazy money on ads, we need to figure out four things. If you don't figure out those four things, all of your money will go to waste. Is your ad account scale worthy? I've seen ad accounts that could spend up to millions per month and I've seen some ad accounts that cannot do it. No matter what you do, no matter how you try, you need to have those four things dialed in before you consider spending more than $50 per day on ads. The first thing that you need to have is your offer. Is your offer something people want to buy? Is your offer sexy? Is your offer something that people will spend money on? It is very, very simple, but without the right offer, you won't be able to do anything. The second thing that you need to do, the second thing that you need to figure out is the market size. How big is the market right now? How many people right now will buy this product? And here I want to stress the importance on right now. If you think about it, how many people will actually put out their debit and credit cards and spend money on your product? If your market is very small, if you have a market size of around, let's say 1000 people, you'll be wasting money on Facebook ads you'll be probably much more successful if you code outreach those 10,000 people via email or if you DM those people via Instagram. So extremely, extremely important. You need to have a decently sized market to implement this scaling strategy. The next thing that you need to have is AOV. What is AOV? It stands for average order value. When somebody buys from your website or, your, or from your funnel, how much do they spend on average? The higher the average order value you have, the easier it will be to scale your ads. AOV extremely important. I cannot give you the exact number. I cannot say you need an AOV of $200, of $1,000. So the higher, the better, obviously, but you need to figure it out for your market, for your audience and for your service. The third thing that is very, very important that you need to scale, that you need to be scale worthy. Are you brave enough to scale? Do you have the balls to scale? because scaling comes to spending money on ads. Whenever people say scaling, what they actually mean is they increase the budget, their ads reach more people, and at the end of the day, they make more money. So do you have the balls to scale? Those are the four things that you must dial in before going into this video further. Okay, now let's think strategically. Let's say you're brand new to Facebook ads and your ad account has less than 250 conversions. In many cases, you just created a product, you just started your own business, so your ad account has zero conversions. From where do you start? How do you go into scaling? So the first thing I would do, I would find five interests relevant to my business. So as you can see here, this is my ad account structure. I have five interests and in each interest I have for ads. In many cases, the way I'll do it, I'll have three image ads and I'll have one video ad. And those ads, in many cases, they'll have different angles. So the budget I'll allocate to a brand new ad account will be between 50 to 100 per day. This is daily budget. So in order for me to figure out what works in this ad account, what is not working in, in this ad account, I'm just gonna set this budget right here. You can do campaign budget optimization or you can do ad set budget optimization. Personally, I have success with both strategies. While I'm in this first phase of scaling, I have some very important objectives. I want to figure out what are the winning creatives, what ads really work. I want to figure out my targeting, what interests really work, what interests and what creatives are delivering the best cost per conversion. And here, in many cases, I need to tweak your offer because no matter what they say, it's going to take some testing and some optimization to find the right offer. Until I get to 250 conversions, those are the things I'm focusing on. And here I can say this is the hardest part. The hardest part would be to come up with very good angles for your ads. It's going to be very, very difficult to 
figure out your offer, to figure out the right offer. In my experience, in order to figure this out, you need to spend three to 5K per month on ads to figure it out. Of course, for some of you, it will take much less. For some of you, it will take much more. But working with clients, this is what I experienced. It takes us five to 25K to figure this out because this is the very hard part. Once you have a interest working, once you have ads that work, once you have 250 conversion, your job becomes much easier because in order for you to scale, what you need to do would be to increase your budget for 100 to 200 to 300. And this is how you scale. This is how you scale ads to infinity. Here, the way I'll do it, I'll just set this ad account and I'll start playing. And if I see something working, if I start getting conversion, I start playing with my ad account structure. And by this moment, your ad account should have data. If you do everything right, you should get a 250 or more conversions. When I say conversions, for some of you that means leads, for some of you that means sales. The way I'll structure my ad account in this situation, I'll keep on playing with interest, I'll keep on testing interest, I'll also add broad targeting. I'll add broad targeting because my ad account already has data. My ad account already knows what audience I'm targeting. Facebook already knows who is interested in my products. I'm also gonna do something very interesting here. I'm gonna start implementing lookalikes. I'm gonna create a lookalike of people who initiated my checkout. I'm gonna create a lookalike of people who bought my product. I'm gonna create a lookalike of people who spend most time on my website and I'm gonna start implementing lookalikes. So here, in order for me to scale ads properly, I need to give it a proper budget. So $1,000 per day is very easy for you to spend here because let's say here we have one, two, three, four, five, six ad sets. So you need to spend, let's say 150 on that set and you're, and you're gonna get your ad account to $1,000 per day. What we are really doing here, we're using our current data that Facebook already has about our buyers and we're feeding Facebook this data and Facebook brings us more and more, more data. Here you're gonna see if you're really scale worthy because at some moment your ad account will start breaking the return on ad spend. If you say I'm spending a hundred grand per month but I cannot afford the cost per conversion, maybe you need to scale down. So here you're gonna see the real size of your market. This is how you're gonna test if you're really, really scale worthy. Another thing I started doing recently, once my ad account gets 250 or even 1000 conversion, I set my ad account very, very simple. I set a Advantage Plus campaign and I target my best ads. Here I run the campaign completely broad. Facebook is deciding who to target, how to target them. Facebook is deciding how to allocate the budget among each creative. So it is very, very simple for me. Here, you can easily set the daily budget to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 dollars per day. But here I have to warn you, you're gonna get good results only if you have a very decent market size. I recommend you implement this strategy when you start getting somewhere between 250, to 1000 or more conversions. And this is the ad account structure I use to scale my ads. It is very, very simple. Now go ahead and scale your campaigns. Let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, let me know. I truly believe that the hardest stage to scale will be number one. If you get your ad account to spend to maybe 100 to 300 per day, it's gonna be very easy to go to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And you'll know if your ad account is scale worthy when you increase the budget and when ads are not breaking, when the rows is not breaking. My name is Nico, thank you for watching. Check out my online courses in the description below.